A DP World Tour Pro during the BMW PGA Championship has taken full aim at one of his playing partners due to slow play. Now we're going to go through in this video exactly what he said, exactly what he did, and plus much more. Rory McIlroy has had something to say on this too. And I'm going to say right now, I do not agree with what golf fans are saying on Twitter. I think everyone has it wrong. Now, in this case, I would usually say golf etiquette has gone fully out the window. Like, have a look at this here. This is the whole footage of DP World Tour Pro, Pablo Larathabal, walking in front of his playing partner's ball, Robin Scota. Now, while his birdie putt was on the way, Pablo Larathabal on the par 4 sixth walked in front of where his playing partner was looking to see where his ball was going. So, now as you can see here, as Robin hit his putt, Pablo Rathabal swooped in behind his golf ball and watched his ball go towards the hole, blocking Robin's view of his putt. Now, in some circumstances, golfers of any level like to see their putt approach the hole because if it goes past it gives you a good indication of how it's going to break coming back to the hole. Now, obviously, in this case, Pablo Larathabal obscured his whole view. So, usually I'd be like, yeah, you know what? He's getting a cheeky little read on what he's doing. He's trying to play a bit of gamesmanship, get in the way. But in this case, I really don't agree. Now, in hindsight, Pablo Larathabal did absolutely nothing wrong. He did not step on Scott Surgent's line. At all. He didn't even get in the way of the Frenchman's putt at all. The ball would, had sort of passed halfway. I want to ask you a question right now. Is this acceptable? Are we happy with this going on? Now, let's give some context to this. Because Pablo Larathabal has responded to the tweet that went viral with this statement. Pablo Larathabal said, That's me. You were on the clock and a hole and a half behind. Play quick, play better. Now, I'm going to say right now, me, you, the whole golfing world are so quick to criticize players for not speeding up when they should and, and sort of just sticking to what they do, playing seriously slow, which I think is totally unacceptable. So in this case, I actually think Pablo Rathabal is doing the right thing. He's trying to get the group to speed up. Like, it would be 30 seconds. Now, it doesn't sound a lot, but if each of you are 30 seconds quicker on a hole and there's three of you, that's a minute and a half quicker. Do that over two holes. We're getting three minutes back. And before you know it, in two or three holes, you've caught the group back up. So in, in hindsight here, he's saving time, in my opinion. He's saving time. He's quickening up the group. And officially, sort of how it works is the referee will come up to your group and it doesn't matter... If you're the person who's actually really quick in your group, it could be one person in your group that's really slow. That person gets the group on the clock. So you get a warning. And then once you've had a warning, you then start to go into a position where the referees could penalize you with shots onto your score. Which, I mean, when you're looking at a Rolex event, that is some serious money you could be spending. Now, Rory McIlroy has had something to say about this. Like, pace of play at the BMW Championship this week has been ridiculous. Like, Rory teed off at 2pm British Standard Time and took 3 hours and 40 minutes to complete 13 holes and 5 hours 30 minutes to get around the entirety of the course on Friday. Now, I know there has been some delays over the week due to bad play, but over five hours, and a, I mean, five and a half hours, let's say, pushing on to four, sort of six, is stupid. This cannot go on. It's not a good advert for golf. And Rory said this, right? Bit of tongue and, tongue and cheek here, but he's nailed it. Complete S show. I think you can let me sort of... Oh, I think you can fill the gaps here, right? Now, guys, with all these videos, if you are enjoying them, we are about to go through the opinions of golfers. And as I said at the start, I seriously don't agree with them. But if you are enjoying these videos, please do consider subscribing to this breaking news channel and hit the thumbs up button. I would love to keep you up to date with everything that's going on in the golf industry. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, I, I, I'm, I'll 
I'm first to sort of agree with people, but in this case, I really don't. And it was sort of hard for me to find positive opinions towards what Pablo Larathabal has done. Like, I think a lot of people are looking at this very skeptical. I did find one, though, from Jordan Rice. Thanks for adding context. A huge fan of that and Pat Fast play. So he's a huge fan of him sweeping in, trying to get to his ball quick, and taking his shot. Now, this is where the opinions go way downhill. Like, they fall off a cliff. Like, seriously fall off a cliff. This one here from CFC. Mate, should have waited. On the clock or not, you don't walk across a line. No excuse. And as we go through these, put what you think down below. Weigh your opinion in. I want to see as many opinions as we can because... And this is a huge topic. Really huge topic. The next one here, you wouldn't with a bit of a face. I mean, again, I don't agree, Hector. I really don't agree. And again, from Daniel Tidy, nah, this still ain't cool. Wouldn't do that for a five-footer. Make up time elsewhere. Okay, I agree, make up time elsewhere, but we've got to keep making time up everywhere, right? A bit of ready golf. Another one here from Derek. You can clearly see you hustling up to look at his line. It was bad form, and then to make up some excuse is even worse. So what do you think of golfers' opinions? Where do you sit? Are you for? Are you against? I'm going to completely stick with what I said at the start of this breaking news video. I think Pablo Rathabal has, you know what, hit the nail on the head. Everybody just needs to speed 